Hi, how's it going everyone? Welcome to a new video on my channel. This time I want to show you how to download the Google Chrome browser completely free on your computer. This works of course for any version of Windows, whether it's Windows 7, Windows 8, Windows 10 or Windows 11. This video is mainly dedicated to everyone who is switching to Windows 10 and 11 and it's actually a really simple process. If you have a new computer and don't have the Chrome browser installed, or if you've just reinstalled or formatted your computer and started it up again, this video is for you. Basically, what we have to do is really very easy. Let's start by making absolutely sure we have the Edge browser properly installed. This usually comes with Windows 10 and Windows 11, so we'll be able to do it this way. We're going to look for Microsoft Edge. In this case, I even have it here on the desktop as a shortcut. But in case it doesn't appear as a convenient shortcut on your desktop, what you really need to do is simply search for it on your computer as just Edge. You can easily search for it like that, Microsoft Edge, it will definitely show up, and then we just need to open it, okay? Once the web browser has successfully started, I highly recommend that you proceed to the search bar in that specific section and type in google.com directly, okay? Once you've done this, as you can see here, the Google page now appears directly. Now, the next thing we need to do is search here directly for the browser and notice how it even gives us the suggestion to install it if we want. If this doesn't show up for you, what you can do is simply search for it as Google Chrome right here in the search bar. It's that simple. And notice how Chrome appears here directly, uh, Google Chrome browser, okay? Which would be this page right here. We're going to click on this page here, or we could also click on this other one, even the one at the bottom, either of the two. This one, in fact, is an ad, but it's exactly the same. For example, I'm going to click on the second one to check it out and we should arrive at this particular page. Either way, if you happen to have trouble getting there, please don't worry because I will absolutely share the direct link to the specific page in the description of this video so you can access it directly. Once you access the page directly, it should appear just like it currently does for me right now, like this. Okay, go. Let's do the following, which is to uncheck this box. This box isn't necessary for a faster installation. And then we go to the one that says download Google Chrome. We now click on the blue button, then wait for it to load, and you'll see that it starts downloading immediately right away. Very fast. Now let's proceed to open up our file explorer application and navigate directly to the download section, okay? Downloads. And inside the download section, we will be able to easily find the file right here. The next crucial thing we need to do is right click on it. I strongly recommend right clicking, of course. And now we are going to select run as administrator or start as administrator. Let's proceed and click here. If it asks for permissions, you need to accept them and then the application will start right away. And right here, Google Chrome will automatically, on its own, start carrying out the entire and complete installation process that is required. And as soon as it fully finishes, the web browser will launch itself completely and be ready for use. So we just need to wait a couple of seconds. Excellent. As you can see here, the browser has already launched for me. The download and installation have already been completed and are finished. And right here, it welcomes us. In this particular case, the primary recommendation here is that if you truly want to fully start the browser, you can simply enter your Google account, specifically your Gmail email account details. If that's the case, you can click here where it says sign in and it will directly ask for your account, or you can click this other button to sign in later. In my particular case, I'm not going to enter it right now. Next, this prompt appears asking if we want to make Google Chrome our default web browser on this computer. Low one. If that's indeed the case, we can simply click right here where it explicitly states to make it the default browser. We can then proceed to click on that particular section and it will be properly set up for us. Let's go. Well, in this specific instance, it's going to open up a dedicated settings window where what we precisely need to do here, if we genuinely want to set this browser as the absolute default so that all web pages and basically all internet links will always open automatically in Google Chrome, is to simply change this particular setting right here. In this case, where it says make Chrome, uh, make Google Chrome your default browser, we're simply going to click here where it says where the button says set default. Okay, we're going to simply click that particular button and notice how the icons here are immediately and automatically updated, making it so that all pages and all links open with the Chrome browser, which is indeed the most important thing to note. We can also change it here for PDF files in case we usually open them with that browser and set Chrome as the default. 
You can take your time to carefully observe and examine to determine which file extensions you are able to change and modify. And once we've done this, we already have the browser set up directly. I'm going to click here where it says uh, that we have it. I'm going to click OK. And here it starts up right away. I can easily maximize it. And without any issues whatsoever, I can immediately start searching. Let's even do a quick example. Let's search for my YouTube channel. OK, here it is, Sergio. I'm going to go to my channel so you can see that everything loads perfectly without any issues. As you can clearly see, the YouTube page is indeed loading and without any problem, it starts up quite smoothly right away. So that's it friends, I really hope you enjoyed this video. As you can clearly see, it's actually very simple and quite easy to accomplish. It's truly not complicated at all and now you can make any search you desire with complete freedom. The browser application is now basically and fully ready for use and right here within the directory, a convenient shortcut has also been automatically created for you so you can easily launch it directly from this particular shortcut. If you wish to do it even more quickly and efficiently and perhaps pin it to the taskbar for immediate access, all you have to do is simply drag the icon and carefully place it at the very bottom of the screen, okay? That way you can launch it from here. And that's it folks, see you in the next video.